the church, our relationship with God as a church and as individuals is depicted with marriage. Jesus tried to describe the relationship he has with us and he used marriage to describe it. In Ephesians chapter 5, verses 22 to 33, 33, 22 to 33. And he says, just as a man will leave his father and his mother, cleave to his wife and become one flesh. Love the woman, care for her, just the way he cares for his own body. So also the Lord cleanses the church, purifies her and presents her to himself as a bride. If we want to discuss describe and discuss our relationship with God and you use marriage you are very correct I mean marriage according to God's ordinances and you will agree with me that many who say I have returned to God they still belong to different secret societies someone was telling me this month a very young boy that after I received one prophecy, I had to run for my life and I wasted time and money. When he got to the fraternity, I don't want to call his name, he said, they were telling me, showing me pastors, apostles, bishops who belong here too. And they were telling me, you see that big man of God? He's our member, he's your fraternal brother. You see this one? You see that rich man? He is our member. Do we still have people like that in this church? Do we have people like that all over the world? We have to return to God with the whole of our hearts. Whether we keep our life or not, we will lose it one day. But if you decide to lose it for the sake of Jesus and his gospel, you will get it back. Because Jesus is the giver of life. Praise the Lord. If you say you are married, you wear a wedding ring. You have NAFDAQ number. For every marriage, the government gives you a specific number that no other person in the world can get. Telling you that your marriage is unique. Your marriage is licensed. You are not sharing this license with anybody. Yet in the night, you still drink. 10, 8, 10 p.m., 11 p.m., 12, even past the night, you are outside. You are not married. You are still single. If you are a woman, you don't respect your husband. Even to the state that a very deteriorated state that somebody can see you outside and call you a babe. You look out, oh, can I take you out? With even with the shame upon the shame of your wedding ring, you are still single. You are not married. You are not married. If we say we are Christians, yet fail to live up to the standard of Christianity, we are not yet Christians because Christianity is Christ like life.